everyone. My name is Ellen. Welcome to Mini Flow Monday. September is National Yoga Month, so every Monday we will be posting a Mini Flow Monday series video onto our YouTube channel so that you can flow with us every Monday this month and get a little bit more yoga into your daily workout routines. So this flow will be about 10 minutes and I will offer modifications and uh, we'll be able to move together in this uh, mini flow series. So let's go ahead and start seated. You wanna make sure that you have lots of space to move around. I have a yoga mat here, but you can also use your carpet or a towel or whatever works for you. So we're gonna start in a seated position and that could be legs crossed or seated on your shins like I am here. This just feels a little bit more comfortable um, for my hips. So we'll start with a little bit of breathing and then get a little bit more into some movement. So go ahead and close your eyes here. And I just want you to focus in on your breathing and start to make that mind-body connection. And then with your eyes still closed, go ahead and place one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. And we're just gonna focus on our breathing and how that feels in our chest and in our belly. So as you inhale, feel the chest and then the belly rise. And then as you exhale, feel your body getting a little bit more grounded into the floor or mat beneath you. Try to fill your lungs up completely on the inhale. Maybe hold it at the top for a couple of extra seconds before you exhale it out. We'll do one more deep breath together. So big inhale, hold it at the top for a couple of seconds. And then exhale, let it go. Go ahead and open your eyes, place your hands on your legs or on the mat. And we're gonna start with a couple of shoulder rolls. So nice and easy. Shrugging the shoulders all the way up to those ears, pulling them back down and creating a full circular motion here. Nice big shoulder rolls. We'll do two more together. All the way up, down and back. One more, all the way up, down and back. Okay, shake it all out. All right, let's interlace those fingers in front of us. Take an inhale and as you exhale, I want you to flip your hands, start to push away, tuck your chin to your chest. Round your spine, feel that nice upper back stretch. Inhale, we're gonna take those arms up and as we exhale, we're gonna reach over to that left side. You're gonna then drop that left arm to the floor and start to rotate that hand, start to rotate your chest and shoulder and look up at your elbow here into the side body stretch. You can also feel free to lower down onto your forearm to get a little bit more of a stretch. We'll take one more breath here, making sure that the opposite hip is still grounded into the floor. And then inhale, let's bring that left hand back up to meet the right. We're gonna interlace those fingers once more, inhale. And then exhale, now we'll move over to that right side. That right arm floats down, and then we start to reach over to that side, making sure that opposite hip stays grounded. So getting a really deep stretch here, starting to rotate through the chest and shoulders, taking your gaze up at your elbow here. Take a few more breaths. Then we'll do one more together before we get moving. And then inhale, we come back up. And then exhale, we just take it down and shake it out. Okay, so go ahead and join me in a nice cat cow or a tabletop position so that we get into a cat cow stretch. And this is mainly for our lower back. So hands and knees, you wanna set up your hands right underneath your shoulders and your knees right underneath your hips here. Okay, so this is sort of our neutral spine. What you're gonna do is drop your belly, lift your chest as you inhale. And then as you exhale, you're gonna pull your chin into your chest, round the spine. And let's float through this, cycle through this about two more times at your own breath, at your own pace. And if you're not sure, you can follow along with me. And 
And we're going to do this one more time. So really deep breath in through the nose and also try to breathe out through the nose too. Okay, let's find that neutral spine. We're going to do sort of a C curve twist here. So I want you to imagine that you're sort of making the letter C with your body, okay? So we're here in this neutral spine. You're going to look over that right shoulder as you pull that right hip to your shoulder. Again, making the letter C with your torso. You're going to come back to the center and you're going to do a little side crunch to the other side. So you look over your shoulder, your hip and shoulder try to connect. We come back to the center and we do the same thing on the other side. So making the letter C with your body. So continue to move through, through this two more times. I'm just going to show you from the front view how that looks. So we're here. So I'm sort of looking over that shoulder, creating that capital letter C, come back to the center, and then I move to the other side. So shoulders and hips try to connect. So one more in each direction. Getting a little more movement in the torso as we begin. And then come back to the center. Let's bring those knees nice and wide. Toes come together. We sit back into our heels. Lower down, child's pose, forehead to the floor. So started with a nice little stretch. And now we're going to get moving. Go ahead and take your hands to the top of the mat. We're going to spread the fingers wide. We're going to tuck the toes. Inhale here. Exhale. We find a nice downward facing dog. Extend those legs up and back. Go ahead and pedal out your heels. Stretch it out in case this is maybe the first down dog of your day. Continue to breathe. Allow your head to hang heavy. Press your chest towards your thighs. And then inhale, let's float to a high plank. You're going to stack your shoulders on top of those hips. I want you to pull those abs in, firm them up, nice and strong. And then as we exhale, those knees come down, our chest lowers. Elbows go straight back. We untuck those toes. Inhale, lift from baby cobra. Extension there. Exhale, we retuck the toes and come down and back to down dog. So modifications here. Instead of a down dog, you can also do this with your knees to the floor and still press those hips back in that down dog position, right? We're going to go through this floor flow two more times. So inhale, come forward to your plank. And this modified, you can do this on your knees or on your forearms. We're only going to be here for about a breath, though. So I challenge you to find that full plank. Neck is long, exhale, knees and chest lower. Your elbows go straight back. Make sure the hips lower with the chest. Untuck those toes, inhale. Squeeze your elbows together. Exhale, lower. Retuck the toes, down and back, down dog. I'm gonna show you a more challenging version of lowering to the floor if you'd like to follow that and take it with me. Last time through, inhale forward. I want you to lift away from the mat onto your tippy toes here. Exhale, we lower for chaturanga. We hover for a moment, and then we move forward and up into upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes. Down and back. Bend the knees, inhale. Exhale, walk those feet to the front. Come to your forward fold. Inhale, reach those arms up, big deep breath. Palms come together, and exhale. So now for a standing flow. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, float it down. You want to lean forward with the chest. Inhale, we find a nice halfway lift. We're pulling those shoulder blades together. We're stretching on the back of the legs. And exhale, we lower. Let's step our right foot back. Medium step, heel into the floor. Warrior one, lift the chest. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hold. So we want to keep those hip bones facing forward. From here, we're going to go right into a warrior two. So inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, open up from your hip. Find a deeper stretch, warrior two. Arms are nice and strong. Front knee is bent, right on top of the toe. We're pulling that opposite arm back. Tuck those hips under. One more breath. Inhale, flip that palm. Exhale, take it back, peaceful warrior. Take your gaze to your hand to challenge your balance. One more breath, and then we have one more layer to this flow. Inhale, come back to that warrior two. Exhale, you wanna bend that front elbow, lower it down to your front thigh, and extend that back arm over for an extended side angle. So I want you to keep those hips nice and low. Start to rotate through the chest and shoulder, just like we did 
earlier in that side stretch, take your gaze up at your elbow. Keep those hips low. One more breath, pressing into that back foot. And then inhale, come back to that warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel those hands down. Heel comes off the floor, we step right back to down dog. Let's do the other side. Inhale, first come forward to your high plank. Exhale, lower knees and chest. And then inhale, we lift. Exhale, tuck the toes. Down dog. Stay right there, just gonna switch directions so you can see me open up towards you. We're gonna do the other side. So inhale, bend those knees. Exhale, walk your jump to the front. Right arm forward fold. Inhale, reach those arms up. Palms come together. Exhale. Same thing, other side as you feel your heart rate getting a little bit higher and feel that heat building throughout the body. Inhale up, exhale, float it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Pull those shoulder blades together. Exhale, lower. Step back, left foot, warrior one. Glue your heel into the floor. Reach your arms up, inhale, exhale, hold. So warrior poses are really strong. That back leg is nice and straight. Tuck those hips under. Engage the core the whole time. Inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, open up from the hips first, then the knee, then the ankle, and we find our warrior two. Nice and strong, shoulders away from your ears. So we're almost done here. Inhale, flip that palm. Exhale, reverse your warrior, take it back. Gaze at your hand for that extra balance challenge. One more breath. Inhale forward, exhale, lower that front elbow and reach that back arm up, extended side angle. So you're making a nice diagonal line from your fingertips all the way down to that back foot. So begin to rotate through that torso and chest, take your gaze up at your elbow, keep those hips low, one more breath, inhale, come back up, exhale, cartwheel those hands. Back heel comes off the floor, step it back, down dog. Inhale forward, exhale, lower knees and chest, or the full version, whatever you'd like. Inhale, left, exhale, tuck the toes, down and back. Inhale, bend the knees, exhale, walk your feet to your hands. We're gonna go through it one more time on each side, so I'm switching directions. Run that forward fold, inhale, reach those arms up, palms come together, exhale. One more time on each side, and then we'll be done with our flow. Inhale up, exhale, float it down. If you like that extra challenge, maybe you move through it a little bit faster. Inhale, lift, or maybe you slow it down. Exhale. Right leg, warrior one, inhale, reach up. I'm just gonna go through a little bit faster. One more breath. Inhale, straighten the leg, exhale, open up. Warrior two, find your lowest point. Inhale, flip your palm, exhale, take it back. Peaceful warrior. So again, going at your own pace, you can make this as fast or slow as you like. Inhale, that center, exhale, extended side angle. You can also make this a little harder by sliding that hand down towards the inside of that foot. Maybe even take a bind. So one more breath here. Inhale, come back up. Good. Exhale, cartwheel it down. Step it on back. Floor sequence. And then the other side, inhale. Lifting away from the mat there. And then exhale, lower. We lift as we inhale. Tuck the toes, exhale. Down and back, hold that there. Or of course, a child's pose. One more time, and then we're done. Bend those knees as you inhale. Exhale, walk or jump. Forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Palms come together, exhale. Ooh, nice and warm now. Last flow. Last time, inhale, exhale, float it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower step it back, warrior one. Reach those arms up, pull those abs in, and breathe. Warrior one. Inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, open up and lower to warrior two. Open up from that hip. Arms are really strong. One more breath. Flip the palm, inhale, exhale, take it back. Peaceful warrior, looking up at your hand, big side stretch. Inhale, center, exhale, side angle. Remember, we're lowering those hips. Extra challenge, you slide that hand closer towards the inside of a foot. Maybe you let it bind. Maybe you stay right here. Inhale, come back. Exhale, cartwheel it down. Step back, down dog. You can either find a child's pose or go through this sequence one final time. Exhale, lower. Inhale, 
and exhale. And then together, knees down, we take a seat, child's pose. Take a breather. So even just a 10 minute flow sequence, you should already feel your body get nice and warm, maybe a little more stretched out. Hopefully feeling a little bit better. So go ahead and walk those hands up. Let's come back to a seated position that we started in. So it can be legs crossed or on the shins. And we're gonna inhale, reach those arms up together. Big deep breath. Exhale, take them down. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, down. One more time. Those palms come together at the top. As we exhale, we're gonna lower them down to heart center. Close your eyes for just a moment. Thank yourself for making the time today to do a little bit of yoga. And we'll open our eyes and we'll say namaste. The light in me honors the light in you. And that's what that means. Thank you for joining our mini flow Monday yoga series. Again, this is a recorded video, so feel free to um, pause and start whenever you want to. Maybe take it a little bit slower. Maybe take a little bit faster, whatever you would like. Thank you guys for joining me. Hope you all have a great day.